career in racing. I think your destiny finds you. So I think I love machines, I love speed, and I love uh, driving each machine to its limit. Hence, racing. Okay. And how do you balance? Like, is racing your career, or you you are doing something else on the sideline? Racing is my main focus. It is my passion, which I want to make my career. I'm also a pilot with an airline, which I am uh, flying to support my racing and myself as of now. And how do you balance the? Like your flights, I'm sure that's also quite hectic. Right? Yes, flying is a very serious profession. I won't lie, saying it's easy. It is a very demanding thing to do both these things together. But I have made this my life, my racing and my flying. There's nothing else that I do. All my leaves and offs are uh, planned. I plan them in a way that I can go on my race weekends. Rest of the free time, I work on fitness because racing is a very strenuous sport for the body. You need to put in hours and hours of fitness because of the g-forces and uh, to perform and the heat levels on the track, etc. How does it feel to be a girl in a in the macho racing world? Uh, well, honestly, for me, uh, I feel like any other race car driver. Because as I always say in most of my uh, when I'm talking to my uh, fans or the interviews, that once the helmet is on, I'm nothing else but a race car driver. Because I cannot spend time thinking about what others are saying. Yes, you get told a lot of things. You're like. They they tell you things like go back learn how to drive you shouldn't be here what are you doing here you're wasting your time you're wasting your money etc yeah you're told all all these sorts of things because honestly uh, most men don't like losing to women there are very few who support uh, you which I think that's why I'm driving with uh, my team Rio Racing who support me immensely to go forward in racing also like you have been racing from the age of sixteen right so has it always been a very smooth ride for you or have you had like did you have those little bumps here and there. Uh, it has been anything but a smooth ride for me, especially if my family did not like racing. As it's not a very conventional sport and it's a very dangerous sport. You have a lot of injuries. I've had various injuries like petrol burns, rib cracks, which I did not tell at home of course because then I would be stopped. And yeah, you hurt your neck sometimes and yeah, drivers are very aggressive on track and especially when they see a girl, well yeah, they will come and T-bone you. T-bone you is a maneuver where they come and whack you. Yeah, there are a lot of uh, situations where you hurt yourself, so family wasn't very keen since it's not very uh, friendly in terms of fitness because I need to be really fit to be a pilot. That is one thing, but uh, over time they have come to like the sport and they support me in every way they can. So now that you're planning to make racing into like your profession, like a proper career thing, so does it pay, like does racing in India pay? Uh, racing in India and in any event the world is a very expensive sport, but once you get to the top, yes, you can make money out of it but that's not my aim. My aim is to uh, reach at least Formula 2 in my uh, career. Uh, sponsorship plays a big role in uh, racing as uh, the sport is relatively newer to the country and we are still getting there in infrastructure. For example, this track smash right here is an amazing facility in the city, in fact the only one. Other than that, JK Tire is doing a great job with our national championship. They are also sponsoring me which I really appreciate and uh, Rayo Racing and Zen Microsystems Pune. Yes, these are the few companies who are supporting me, but uh, to go forward in racing, you need much, much more support as uh, for your practice, for your gear, for your racing, etc. Sneha, what do you think about India right now in the whole motorsports scene? I think we are in a much further place than we were a few years back with uh, having our own Formula 1 track and having our own team for Force India. And I think we are managing to get podiums too. Yes, I think it's bright. It is going to be slower than other nations since we are still like a developing country. This facility here is amazing itself. So I think if we have more karting facilities, because karting is the basics of racing. The most top-notch Formula 1 drivers also go back to karting to refresh their basics, their cornering skills, their overtaking skills and to get comfortable on track. So I think karting plays a crucial role in the future of motorsports of India. And what in general, like, what is your general view on the mot on like motorsports India in India, not just karting? I think uh, to for motorsports to develop in India, I think a lot of uh, motor companies need to come forward and invest in motorsports if they want to go f forward in terms of motorsports in India. Where do you see yourself, like, say, in the next five years? What do you plan to do with your career there? I plan to race in the Formula 2 at least in the next five years. But my very next immediate plan for next year is to be uh, looking at podium finishes in Formula 4 and do national karting as well as Formula BMW. So what is your one advice to all the girls out there who want to have a career in sports probably? Well, I would tell them go ahead and do it. If I can do it, so can you. And whether it's sport, whether it is art, whether it's anything, I think one should always follow their passion. I read this quote once, make your passion your paycheck and that's exactly what I intend on doing. Alright, thanks Nia. Thanks, bye.